Hi guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me for another episode of What the Smut Book of Is. I've got my vampy red lipstick on, which means you know it's going to be a good one. <laughs> um, no, honestly that's really no real indicator of whether or not this video is going to be any good. It's just, I picked a lipstick out of a bunch of lipsticks, whatever. Anyway, um, today... We're going to do something a little bit different. So I've been surfing the web for good ideas for videos because I know I need to start peppering in some stuff besides just standard book reviews so I can keep you guys interested and keep you guys here for me. So, um, you know, I'm just going around like, you know, oh, what do booktubers do? What do other booktubers do? Like, I'm not trying to steal your ideas, but Loki, I'm... <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, maybe put, like do it and put my own little twist on it and whatever, because, you know, there's tons of booktubers out there that review all kinds of different books and I just happen to specialize in romance novels. So obviously I'm going to have to put my own little twisty twist on those types of videos. So for today's video, and I'm not sure if it's just me or do I feel like I'm like further out than I normally am? Like, am I usually like this? Am I like this? Am I like this? Or am I like this? <laughs> okay, chill out. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you guys my the fuck month visit, July. Um, what I hope to be my uh books to read in July or my July to be read list. So here's the thing. And I talked about this in a previous video. My to be read pile consists of physical books, ebooks, like paperback, hardcover, like, and they're not just like in one neat little concise pile because from what you know about me, does that sound like me? Mm -mm, no. Uh, so I have like a pile over here and a pile on this shelf and a pile on my computer desk and a pile over there and a pile in this closet and we can't I can't get into it but safe to say they're all over my house so um, if I was to go and compile a massive to be read pile and share it with you guys which I may do in a future video but for today's video too much work can't be bothered okay so what I have done is I have compiled a few of the ones that um, I want to read next because the blurb or you know the blurb really grabbed me and it's been sitting at the top of my pile and I just haven't gotten to it yet or it's by an author that I really really love and I know it's gonna be amazing and I just haven't gotten around to it so today that's what we're gonna talk about is what I hope to read in the next month if you know anything about me and you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I've said multiple times, I used to be the type that could read a book in two or three days. Like I would just fucking zoom through that shit, right? No, not anymore. Life is like, you know, and between my husband and Charlotte, my three-year-old and work and my dog and the little quarantine and coronavirus paranoia and everything's going on in the world right now um it takes me a good two three weeks to read a book <laughs> so some of these i may be doing a little cheat on and doing them audio version like the audiobook style um but it still counts so i'm still going to consider it a win because I do like absorb the book and it imprints on my soul and then I'm able to give you guys a good breakdown and a rating from that so it still counts so I don't want to hear it okay um, so I'm going to go through this list that I've compiled which I have little printouts for each one and for the month of July I'm gonna go easy on myself I say that because it to the, to the layman who goes through a book every like like to the book to the bookaholic who breezes through a book in two days this will sound like okay 
you can do better, you know. Um, but from aforementioned life and my reading speed ATM, this is going to be going easy on myself because I hope I can do it. And if I'm listening to some of them on audiobook, I think I can do it. Oh, but we'll see. Because if you don't see the reviews come out for them, then you know I fucked up and I didn't read them. <laughs> so, one problem at a time, okay? Don't look for an issue before there's an issue, right? So, the first book that I have on my to-be-read pile for July, um, which also keep in mind I'm in the middle of reading a book right now. It's a three-part book uh, by author Lauren Rowe. And it is, I think it's like, the first one's called like Beautiful Liar. No, something liar. They're all like a variation of the word liar. It's like Beautiful Liar, Beloved Liar. And then I think the first one was Bad Liar. I think that's it. That's what it is. So I'm in the middle of reading that one. I'm almost finished with the third part. Um, so hopefully that won't impede upon the progress of these too much. Um, but yeah. So I have given myself the arduous task. You like that word arduous? I learned that from a romance novel. <laughs> of course. Um, I've given myself the arduous task of reading and subsequently reviewing three books for the month of July to knock them off of my to-be-read pile. So the first book that I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about is, uh, of course, a Jenna Show Walter book because <laughs> you guys know by now. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that she's like one of my ride or die bitches. Like she is the, she's one of the ones. Okay. I read obsessively. Obsessed. I'm obsessed with you. Don't be scared. Uh, we leave, we live too far apart from each other for me to legitimately stalk you. Um, but it's going to be the, uh, the first book in her Forest of Good and Evil series, which she just came out with a little while ago. Um, it is called The Evil Queen, which I know everybody in her Facebook group is going to be coming for me because they're going to be like, bitch, how have you not read this book yet? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I have no excuse. I have no valid excuse. Um, so I'm going to be reading that one for the month of July, which I'm super excited about. Um, it has 468 pages, y'all. That's a full-length novel, y'all. Okay? Cut me some slack. Um, the second book, which, if I'm not mistaken, this one and the next one was suggested to me by Facebook ads, which I found a bunch of good books I really like through Facebook ads. So it's like, hey, Facebook, I know you're spying on me, but keep, keep doing what you're doing because I appreciate it in this regard. Like... I don't want you like backing up any of my nudes to the cloud or anything, but you can keep suggesting romance novels to me. I accept that. Um, so this is going to be uh, a book called Twisted Fate by author Ace Gray. I don't know if Ace Gray is a dude or a chick. Don't know. Didn't do any research. No idea. It is currently free to read with Kindle Unlimited. Um, if you want to buy it in paperback, you can buy it for $12.99. Um, and I'll go over a lot more deets for these books once I've read them and I do the actual review videos. I'll go in and tell you like where you can buy them, how much they cost for each type of, of publication and you know, all that jazz. So um, this appears to be book one in a, a twisted fairy tale part of a series. I don't know, we'll see. But it's called Twisted Fate and it has 302 pages. So again, that's, that's pretty full length novel, right? Um, the third one that I have assigned myself to read for July is called Utterly Forgettable, a Whiskey's novel. So again, could be the first of, of a series. Um, and this is by author R.B. Hilliard, Hilliard, Hilliard. Hopefully I'm not screwing that up. Um, and it is also free to read with Kindle Unlimited right now. And that one only has 197 pages. So that's more, in my opinion, like novella type book. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Um, but the cover looks good. The blurb sounded good. So I was like, yeah, uh, we'll give it a shot and we'll see. So really quick, I'm going to read you guys the blurbs for these books. 
and um, you know, if it sounds interesting to you and you want to add it to your to be read pile, definitely do that because it hooked, they hooked me and I've read my, I've read enough books that I'm like a little bit jaded at this point. If you don't have some kind of like original plot or like plot twist, some that, you know, <laughs> usually I'm just like, oh, another, another one of these novels, another billionaire, whatever book. Mm, okay. All right. It could be good, it could be amazing, and I'm just being like snooty about it, but whatever. Like, I it, I may read it at some point, I don't know. Okay, so the synopsis for um, The Evil Queen, which from what I've heard, this series is going to be basically retellings of um, classic fairy tales from the POV of the villain. So that's what I'm talking about. You see what I mean when I'm like, I need an original type plot like I've never in my life heard of anything like this, okay? I mean, maybe it's been done, I don't know. But this is my first, you know, so we'll see. Um, so the blurb says, welcome to the garden of good and evil where villains may be heroes and heroes may be villains. It all depends on who you ask. In the realm of Enchantia, Creatures of a legend still exist, magic is the norm, and fairy tales are real. Raised in the human world, Everly Morrow has no idea she's a fairy tale princess, until she begins to commune with mirrors. Soon, a horrifying truth is revealed. She is fated to be Snow White's greatest enemy, the Evil Queen. With powers beyond her imagination or control, Everly returns to the land of her birth. There, she meets Roth Char Charmaine? Charmaine? Charming? Hmm. The supposed Prince Charming. Their attraction is undeniable, but their relationship is doomed. As Everly faces disaster and betrayals, giving into her dark side proves more tempting. Can she resist or will she become the villain she was born to be? Y'all. Y'all. That sounds so good. Um, if I wasn't in the middle of a book right now, I'd be like, fuck everything. Fuck life. Give me my Kindle, okay? P.S. I'll probably be reading all of these on my Kindle, by the way. My Kindle Paperwhite. Um, because I have a tendency to do that. I have a tendency to, like, buy the Kindle version if it's, like, cheap, like, 99 cents or 2.99 or whatever. And then I'll read it, and if I like it, then I'll buy it in paperback to, like, add to my collection. So there's a good chance that I'm probably going to read all of these on Kindle. Evil Queen, I may just buy the book because... Let's be honest, like Jenna Showalter, you can't go wrong. I love her. So, yeah. <laughs> the synopsis for uh, Twisted Fate, A Twisted Fairy Tale, book one, uh, reads, Once upon a time in a land far, far away. I'm sensing a theme here. Hmm? <laughs> Fairy tales? <laughs> Once upon a time in a land far, far away. Okay, maybe it's not a long time ago or even very far away, but present day Chicago has its fair share of heroes and villains. Unlike the tales of old, they don't wear shining armor, golden crowns, or even dragon scales. They're human. Gloriously flawed and dangerous humans with an appetite for both blood and lust. That sounds right up my alley, bro. Blood and lust? What? A twist of fate brought Cole Ryan and Elle LaRue together in an orgasmic first encounter. But all too fast, their futures became deeply entwined. Being forced together wouldn't be such a bad thing if a dark web wasn't being woven around Cole and Elle, simultaneously taut and tenuous, leaving their very lives to hold on by the thinnest of fate's strands. So that blurb doesn't give much away in terms of plot, but it sounds pretty good. I mean, there's a disclaimer. This book contains graphic sex, violence, uncomfortable sexual encounters, as well as male-male-female, male-male, and female-female sexual relationships. It's intended for mature audiences over 18. So it sounds like there's going to be some male-on-male -male action, some female-on-female -female action, some male-on-male-on-female -on -male -on -female action. It sounds like some harem, some reverse harem shit, which... I've read maybe one or two of those type novels. I should probably branch out and get back, get into that because those sound, uh, sounds pretty good. Um, okay, 
So, yeah, so there's that one. And then the third one, Utterly Forgettable, a Whiskey's novel. The blurb says, Zane Mitchell does not do relationships ever. When he lands himself in some seriously hot water with one woman, the last thing he expects is to be saved by another. Catherine Haynes is taking a break from men. When she finds herself in a financial bind, her stepbrother has the perfect solution. Move to Charlotte and work for his best friend. Zane thinks Catherine is plain. Catherine thinks Zane is emotionally stunted. Both couldn't be more wrong. Neither of them is looking for a relationship. Both of them fight it. But in the end, love wins every time. <gasps> that sounds like cute too. I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Charlotte says, I'm super excited. She does, she does say that all the time. Um, okay, so yeah, that's on my TBR list for July. So we'll see what happens, y'all. I mean, I'm going to do my best to read these. If I can find them in audiobook format, I will probably listen to them while I work and that kind of thing, which will help me breeze through them faster, which would be amazing. I know for a fact the Evil Queen comes in audiobook format because I have seen it um, somewhere on Amazon, I think. But the other two, I don't know. I find a hard time, and maybe I just don't branch out enough, but I have noticed a lot of um, books that are free to read with Kindle Unlimited are either published by like self-publishers or like the author publishes it through Amazon themselves and they don't have like a huge, or they don't have like a huge catalog or, you know, they just, they don't have audio format for any of their books. Like I've run across that a lot. It could be that I just haven't looked very hard and whatever but yeah so that's that for that so we'll see what happens hopefully i will be able to breeze through these three books for you guys in july and review them i know you guys are looking forward to some new authors and some new uh series and some new types of videos which is what i'm attempting to do right now let's give you guys something else besides just hey i'm reviewing blah 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 and my rating is blah 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 because I know that can get old, especially if you guys are not interested in the particular author or book that I'm reviewing at that time. So I will continue to look for ideas. If you guys have any ideas that you think um, would be up my alley, obviously they still need to be book related, um, particularly romance related, smut related. Um, yeah, I'd be, I would love to hear them. Give me your ideas, okay? Please put them in the comments below or send me an inbox message. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, what else is there to say? I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? I'm literally doing no strenuous activity. Um, yeah. So I thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. Um, if you like me and you like my channel, please uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure if you do subscribe that you hit that bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my other social media accounts, I do have a members only Facebook group, an Instagram and a Twitter devoted to this channel. And they're all under variations of what the smut. I will link them down below in the description box and I will put a little banner here at the bottom of the screen for you guys to see. And I will see you lovelies in my next video. Okay, I love you so much, bye. as usual look at this hair isn't it neat wouldn't you think my transition's complete wouldn't you think i'm a girl a girl who has fishy legs and no female genitalia um okay so the synopsis for twisted fate a fisted a fisted <laughs> fuck's sake Cut that out. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay. But all too fast, their futures become deeply intertwined. Intertwined? Entwi entwined. Mm, okay. Why do I do that? Like, seriously, why do I do that? Every video now is just going to be me drinking sweet tea and the bloopers. Because that's my life.
I honestly forget what month we're in, to be honest. Do not come for me, Argentina. Um, do I have anything else? Do you have anything else? Um, bookshelf reorganization. I saw that on somebody else's channel and I was like, that is a scary and daunting task, y'all. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm so tired. I'm so tired and I'm so schlumpy. And I don't know what's up with my ring light today, but it's literally making me look like Casper, the friendly ghost. The friendly ghost. Oh, you know. This lipstick is trash. Look at that. I can't. I can't even do it. I can't even put on fucking lipstick. Well, I can't even put on lipstick properly. What kind of adults are you? What kind of an adult woman are you? You suck. 